My name is Bear Grylls. Now, my challenge is to survive one of the most treacherous landscapes on Earth, Alaska. I'm going to show you the skills you need to survive. I've come out into one of the many small inlets that dot the Alaskan coastline. My best chance of rescue is to be spotted by one of the many small fishing boats that fish this area. Hey, look at this, look, it's a dead salmon. And look, there's another one over there. This is great news, it means the salmon are using this to run upstream. And this is what they do, they will turn from often like up to 200 miles out to sea, they find the exact same river they were born, even the same tributary, return to it, lay their eggs, and then they'll die. The river is packed with king and pink salmon. I haven't got a fishing line with me, so I need to find another way of catching one. I'm making a spear out of wood. I found a tree where the branches fork out in a V about four foot along the main stem. The first step is to clear all the other shoots and then break off the two branches and cut them into sharp points. These will puncture the tough skin of the fish and keep it pinned down while I grab it with my hands. Making my spear only took about 10 minutes, but catching a fish could take an awful lot longer. There must be a thousand salmon in this pool down here. Uh, but it's too deep for me to be able to spear one. But I reckon if I can spook them and drive them up into the shallows, then I'll have a good chance. My tactic's working. The fish are going just where I need them. I can see just loads and loads of them there, and they're in about six inches of water. And the key is just for me to approach from downstream very steadily. One of the salmon's main predators are eagles, which swoop in from above. So the fish are highly sensitive to shadows. If they see mine, they'll be off. I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity. As I stand motionless, the fish start to come closer, but they always seem to be just out of my reach. And they say the key for fishing is patience. I'm probably the least patient person you'll ever meet. Now I'm going to take a more aggressive approach. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> I had it, it's like... That was so close. I got it. Come here. And this one is going to be a cracker. I've got them pinned through the gills on either side here, and I get my finger right through where I've speared him at the back to keep a hold of him. And you can eat these things. Straight out of the river like that. Mm. That is like the freshest Alaskan salmon you can possibly have. I've always liked sushi, and in the local Iyak communities, the annual fish runs were the primary food source for the entire year. Fish are packed full of protein, and the scales are small on a salmon so you can eat the skin as well, as it contains high levels of fat. Just what my body needs to keep moving. It's been two days now since I had a square meal, and I'm gonna take full advantage of this feast 